All right, uh, welcome to this uh, lesson, the final lesson for uh, this course, uh, CSS 848, Principles of Security Practice and Management. Uh, once again, my name is Dr. Shibi Jacob Neji, your course facilitator. In this uh, wrap up of this lesson, we are going to be looking into our uh, industrial and uh, institutional security. Industrial and institutional security. Um, in uh, a layman explanation, we are going to be looking at uh, security in uh, business places and uh, security in government organizations. Right? Um, that is the simple explanation. Industrial uh, means um, uh, business uh, premises. Right? Uh, production factories. Uh, we are going to be looking at uh, security in those in that perspective. And also institutional entails government uh, agencies, uh, government structures, uh, social entities. Uh, we're going to be looking at those the security at that level. Okay. All right. Before we uh, move on to the actual uh, discussion, let's look at the uh, learning outcomes, the intended learning outcomes. At the uh, end of the lesson, uh, you should be able to define the term security. Okay, security. You should also be able to differentiate between institutional and industrial security. I've just done that. Uh, then uh, list and explain the industrial and institutional security services as uh, we are going to be handling that. Then explain the specific duties of a security officer, uh, as well as the required skills of a security guard. And finally, state the elements of risk analysis. All right, let's proceed to uh, what is uh, security. Uh, it, it is better to uh, have some contextual, uh, some um, conceptual clarification uh, as we proceed. What is security? Security entails the provision of private services in the protection of people, information, and assets for individual safety or community wellness. Uh, this uh, definition is given by Craig Head in 2003. Um, in a very simple explanation, it, in, it entails giving uh, private services in the protection of people, uh, information and assets for individual safety or community awareness. All right, it's all about uh, being secured. Okay. All right, uh, what is private security? How, how is it different from security in its sense? Uh, private security is a type of security. It is the provision of paid services in preventing undesirable, unauthorized, or detrimental loss to an organization's asset. Um, in this case of private security, it is not provided by the government. It is actually provided by private individuals, right? And so it is a paid service. Um, those interested in private securities are usually uh, pay for that services. Industrial security, what does this mean? I have uh, explained that before. Industrial security refers to the systems uh, commonly found in businesses, apartment buildings, and other companies. All right, so it has to do more of a businesses and companies, uh, apartments or structures, and how they are secured. How about institutional security? Institutional security, on the other hand, refers to security measures set up by corporate or government entities to protect uh, strict social structures, all right? To protect government structures, to protect government uh, uh, buildings, government institutions, all right? Uh, that is institutional security. Now, note that business and companies require a lower level of security than governmental uh, buildings and institutions. That is because um, government uh, institutions uh, have more, is more exposed to uh, risk, all right? It has, uh, um, it is more exposed to violence, it is more exposed to uh, higher risk than businesses and companies. Uh, businesses are usually uh, try to secure, um, their premises by instilling a, a burglar proof, so CCTV cameras, um, whereas government institutions, uh, there is the need to protect people and also the assets in those institutions, as well as the information. All right, security measures. Uh, what is exactly security measures? Security measure refers to equipment, personnel, and methods 
that are used to secure or to ensure security. It includes uh, cameras, uh, paid guards, uh, specialty locks, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> simply put, security measures in, entails those strategies, those procedures that are put in place to ensure there is safety. All right, um, let's, what, is, what are the relevance of uh, industrial and institutional security? Well, um, why do we need to have industrial and institutional security? Why should the industries and government institutions be safe? One, uh, it is important to have employee safety. It is important to have those who work in those organizations, institutions, or um, uh, industries to be safe, all right? Um, Another reason is that these institutions and industries are very vulnerable to threat uh, that can expose dangerous liability uh, or risk. All right, so that is why it is important to protect them. All right, uh, looking into industrial and institutional security uh, services, uh, what are those services that should be offered uh, for industrial and institutional safety, for industrial and institutional security? First one here is security guards. There should be people who should guard, who should man uh, the industries and the institutions to ensure that they are safe. There should be bike patrols, uh, bikes, uh, motorbikes, of course, uh, should be used to patrol the area, especially those areas that uh, uh, vehicles, uh, patrol vehicles cannot get into. Uh, bike patrols are quite easy and uh, gives the security guard access to uh, difficult ter terrains and also to navigate the areas quite easily. The neighborhood patrol is another type of service that is uh, indispensable or quite important to industrial and uh, institutional security, where um, industries and institutional and government institutions are located around the neighborhoods. It is important for uh, people to uh, safeguard or protect those industries and institutions um, by way of orientation, right? By way of uh, 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 restricting people from constituting security threats. Mobile patrol, this is a uh, cost efficient, is a type of, of patrol where uh, the uh, patrol team tends to uh, use a vehicle to patrol the area from time to time, especially event security. This uh, has to do with uh, security that is uh, provided. Right, so whenever industries or government institutions are conducting uh, special events, it is important for these events uh, to be uh, secure, all right. Okay, Sp uh, specific duties of security officers in industrial or institutional settings. One, they should patrol areas, all right, check doors, gates, and windows for signs of unauthorized entry. It is important that the record times of inspections and presence of unauthorized persons it is also uh, re to respond to alarms and check alarm system. Uh, security guards should also provide armed escorts for payroll, for, for payroll deliveries, all right, delivery of uh, force of funds, uh, cash money. Uh, then all
they should be able re required skills of guards on physical and uh, uh, facility security uh, duties. The guards should be able to read, uh, develop some reading and comprehension skills. They should be able to read uh, basic literature. They should be able to uh, be active uh, listeners. Right? They should be able to listen to people, ask questions where necessary. Then social perceptiveness. Um, guards should be able to uh, uh, take uh, cognizance of people's action and also uh, think of why people act the way they do. Then they should be able to develop necessary uh, oratory progress, uh, speak uh, fluently, all right, uh, communicate perfectly. Then uh, guards should also uh, monitor, they should develop monitoring skills and uh, essential writing skills. All right, uh, risk analysis for security determination. Uh, what is risk analysis? What is the objective of risk analysis? The objective of risk analysis is to uh, create a level of protection that mitigates vulnerability to threat and the potential consequences, thereby reducing risk to an acceptable level. Um, risk analysis is all about risk reduction, right? Once risk is anal analyzed, the um, aim, of course, it is to reduce risk. Elements of risk analysis. One, identification of the threat of threatening objects. Well, those objects that constitute threats must be identified. Analysis of value and damage potential. You have to uh, look into the possible value of uh, the uh, potential threat and also the extent of damage it may cost. Then uh, threat and uh, weak point analysis. Also, uh, when analyzing risk, it is important to look at the uh, threat areas and also the weak points in order to be able to take preventive measures. Then identification of existing security measures. Um, it is better to, whenever the risk is being analyzed, it is good to always identify existing uh, security measures in order to know where to improve upon. Then risk assessment to uh, finally conduct the risk ass assessment to uh, see how far reaching the uh, threat could be. Okay. Um, now, thank you for uh, making it to the end of this uh, lesson. Um, please, uh, I am always available. Uh, send your questions or contributions to me via emails, and I will be very happy to respond.